Hello everybody, it is January 10th, Monday, and I just got a couple packages in the mail. Been waiting on this one for a while, this was from Silver Gold Bowl. Believe it or not, I think I ordered it right around Cyber Monday, so it's seen a lot of delays, but finally got here, and then we've got another one there from, directly from a mint, so we'll go into that one in just a moment excuse me I got my uh, beverage for the night a little winter lager and this is actually take two so it'll be quick and dirty kinda messed up the last video so take two from the top alright I've already looked at these so let's see what we got uh, this one is just a little chunky little bar from Monarch Precious Metals. I do quite like this. I don't think I have one exactly of this kind, but it's got some heft to it. Very nice and dense, that precious metal. And so yeah, I'm still stacking the silver. I've cooled off a little. But, you know, when you got some extra money, the deals are to be had, if you look around. Uh, to be honest, I mean, these are some of the cheaper prices we've seen in the last 12 months. And, uh, yeah, what else do we get? Uh, there was a number of Britannias. So I've kind of looked at them through the flips, and I don't see any milk spotting, so that's a big plus. nice 2022's and that's nice uh, low premium bullion I think I recall hearing a couple rumors that the Royal Mint was running out of silver planchets but I don't know exactly but it's a nice coin you can see the security feature there in the bottom But yeah, when they're not milk spotted, it's a pretty nice coin. See a couple bruises. I think that's just on the plastic flip. <laughs> yeah, so I think I got like four or five of these. This was maple two. And uh, so the size of my orders is going down. Again, what I don't like about my state is that they try to charge you sales tax on bullion if it's not under, if it's not at least $1,000. So I'm not a big fan of that at all. Really hurts when you're trying to, you know, nibble on the dips. You know, those are hard to time. But uh found a couple couple places I can work with that are a little bit more in my liking. The Britannia. <clears throat> we'll get through the Britannias and then uh, we'll get some of these other ones here. Alright, I think that was all the Britannias. Five of those, I guess. Threw in a maple. These are a little bit of a higher premium usually than the Britannias right now. But uh, ever since that Mint Shield technology, <coughs> they've been pretty, pretty great. No problems whatsoever from the Royal Canadian Mint. They're doing a really a bang up job. A lot of people really like <coughs> this design. And yeah, I think it's okay. There's a little bit of a schmutz there, but that's actually a little bit of glue. They had tape on some of these flips. That just kind of rubs right off, but no big deal on that. It's on the outside of the flip. Now we're getting into the more interesting stuff. Let's see here. Yeah, let's check this. Perth Mint. 
I'm not sure. This isn't really like the lunar calendar coins. They do a couple of these, like, it's just the Dragon series, bars and coins. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, these are like, might be a special order from LPM Precious Metals. Nice coin though. They had a pretty good price on them, so why not? Is it a P for Perth? Yeah, they really, uh, I'd say they're kind of numero uno in quality on the, on the nicer coins like these, the Lunars, some of the other special editions. They're, you know, almost always flawless, which you can't really say that about the U.S. Mint or Canadian or British mints. Uh, the only thing, yeah, I mean, sometimes the kangaroos, for whatever reason, uh, those will have milk spotting sometimes. But the premium coins are always very nice. And I got another one. Oh yeah, look at that. What a sweet coin that is. 2022. Kookaburra. Very nice design. Mm-hmm. I don't know what kind of plant that is on the top left. Those flowers looks interesting and it's appears to be sitting on a, a basin, a little bird bath, maybe. Twenty twenty two new release. Now this, which I would call the obverse, although I guess sometimes it's not. But um, I don't really like this design. They they use it on a lot of these, like this one. Yeah, I'm just not a fan of this. You know, some sometimes these mirror polishes I just don't don't dig it. It's a little a little too boring, a little too plain. I think. I think you could do something that looks a little nicer. Like this side looks great. And they changed up the font. That was like the big thing for this year. I think it they did a koala coin. That's the same thing. It's funny, all these animals, like they all start with K. Kangaroo, koala, kookaburra. I think that's it. But yeah, they're adding that weird K in the fonts. Cool. Now this one I'm pretty stoked about. I'd seen these online, but you couldn't really find them in North America. Yeah, I think Backyard Bullion showcased a couple of these. And it's nothing special. It's supposed to be like a high mintage bullion piece. It's almost practically like on a generic coin level. But, um... Yeah, it says uh, Tokilao. So, and there's a little schmutz on here as well. I think that was just glue from uh, tape they had on these stupid flips. So that's on the packaging. Now this one's also got the mirror polish. And I previously said I don't like it, but I think it almost looks better on this. Maybe it's just because I'm more interested in this design here. Goddess Europa, fine silver. I'll have to check on that Toki Lao. I, I think these are probably either minted at Perth or the New Zealand mint. Uh, those are the two big boys in that region. And they tend to do a lot of those island countries, like Niue, that's New Zealand. But yeah, this, this might have been Perth mint. And it's just, that's a fascinating... Uh, I was going to say backdrop, it's a fascinating showcase or um, object there. I don't know much about the history, but I'm going to assume 
that there is some kind of history with the goddess Europa. Maybe that's Latin, I guess it probably is. But she's riding what appears to be an oxen or an auroch. And actually, it's funny, ever since I've been eyeballing this coin, I, th I think I saw another coin with a similar motif, similar subject is the word I was looking for earlier, I think. So there must be some some story behind that. I'll have to look it up. Seems interesting why she'd be riding a bull. But yeah, I just, I quite like that, actually. Might have to get some more of these. That's pretty, pretty cool, pretty badass. I like that. All right. And then this I got from, uh, gosh, I was going to say Sunshine. is Golden Statement, which is in the Sunshine State of Florida. Yeah, I think they used to be in California, but they moved, probably for tax reasons. But uh, these are a pretty popular generic round. Got, uh, I think it was eight of these. <clears throat> yep, just those uh, Aztec rounds, I guess they're called. Let's take a look. Take off my other glove to adjust the focus. Yeah, these are, I looked them over real quick. They seem to be in top notch shape. What's that guy's name? Quatamoc. Quatamoc. Yeah, so these are based off a traditional Mexican coin. Well, at least this part is. I think the uh, reverse was probably different on the original coin. No, I forget. But anyways, it's a pretty nice Aztec calendar is what it is. A lot of detail that they uh, were able to fit on there for a one ounce coin and the camera's picking it up pretty darn good. Yeah. I mean, I've, I've never actually looked at it too closely. And I'm trying to remember. I think they made this in a five ounce and a two ounce. Yeah, I don't think I got any of the larger ones, but you could you could blow this up on like a five ounce and you'd probably get a lot more detail. But you can see some of the animals that they revered. Pretty cool. So yeah, got a pretty nice deal on these. And now the uh, Golden State Mint, they were really backed up earlier in the year when everybody was sold out you know March, April, May, June, July but uh, I put this order in it was like lickety split process the payment these are out the door in a couple days express mail so really fast and uh, I think I got one more order placed with them now uh, what else we got? I got a couple new coins ordered just to get some of the 2022 so once the uh, Eagles come out I think I got a couple of those coming in so we shall see and uh, you know I thought this year I <laughs> I don't want to get into it it's a whole nother tangent uh, last year's price price activity on silver but uh, I think this will be a good year anyways I uh, just want to show these most recent pickups so please like comment and subscribe and i still plan on doing a video here pretty soon on my copper collection if anybody's interested in that oh this appears to be a woody you know what those are the way it's uh i guess it's on the planchet it kind of looks like a wood grain See that? Kind of looks like a wood grain. Yeah, those are kind of cool. Anyways, uh, yeah, plan on doing a 
video on the copper coins soon. I just haven't got around to it. And uh, yeah, we'll have some more nice content in the pipeline. So thanks for watching and uh, be talking with you soon.